copying and pasting layers. And remember at the very beginning of our project, we created a second version of the arm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of take a look and make sure that on frame one, I'm using drawing one. I'm going to go to frame two. I'm going to use arm number two. Frame three, I want to, sorry, on frame two, I want to use arm one. Frame three, I want to use arm one. Frame four, which is the one where his arm is going to be back, I'm going to use drawing two. And frame five, I'm going to use drawing two. So here's my one, two, three, four. Now, when I get to this one, I want to modify the art. And before I modify the art, I want to take a look at how the art's created. So typically, I look at it in the drawing view. And I'm going to just zoom out so I can see what's going on. And I can take a look at what layers are being used. I can see that on the line art layer, we have art. On the overlay, we have no art. So if I want to create new art, I can use this layer. On the line art, we have art. On the color art, we have a color fill. And on the underlay art, we don't have anything. So that tells me I can use either the overlay art or the underlay art. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of this vector art because I want to make an arm that's behind the back. I'm going to save this um, arm drawing, control copy, on one of those other layers. And, and we're going to just remember which layer we used. Go to underlay, and I'm going to paste it. So we need to work on the underlay layer. I'm going to move into my node view. And I'm going to find this arm. And if I'm working on a layer in the camera view or the drawing view and I go over to my um, node view and press the letter O, it takes me right to that layer. Now let's just take a look inside our arm. We, you can see that we've already used line art and color art. So therefore there's a drawing module that in the drawing view we are using line art. If I open up this one, we're using color art. And I'm going to make a copy and paste of that, control C, control V, attach it to the same peg. And remember, where did we, we, where did we drop that art? We dropped it in the underlay. So I'm going to just turn the underlay off. Now, this is where our multiport comes in. Because this composite here is just the arm. And I want this section of the arm to look like it's behind the body. So therefore, wherever I put something on this comp, it would never be low enough inside the um, body because the, the bottom of this arm is still above or closer to us than his body. So I'm gonna take it off there. I'm gonna put it on the multi-port. And notice how many ports we have here. We have our original port. We have another port that goes and does something else. And we have this last port that I've just created. If I go outside the group, and to go outside the group, you'll always see a little triangle here. There is my port. Now, this composite contains my entire character. So I know that if I wanted that piece of arm that I created, and I put it to the very leftmost side of the comp, it's going to be underneath everything. Now let's just see if I put it on the rightmost side. We'll see that it actually creates a layer on top of the character. Let's move it to the leftmost side, and it's actually creating a layer that's behind this big body. So now we've copied and pasted the drawing layer.